guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl neek and if you're new here welcome my subscribers unique nation thank y'all for always coming back and checking out my new videos so as you read by the title today i will be giving a lot of important information um, to anyone who is interested in either starting up their youtube channel fresh and new or if you have one how to kind of turn it over to a very active channel um, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into the tips. I don't want to leave you guys uh, long, prolong this video, but before we do that, make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe and leave a comment below if you like informative videos like this. Um, and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so that you are notified every single time I post. So let's just get right into the video. So tip number five, um, you want good content. You want to make sure um, that you kind of know what direction you want your channel to go in it's not um you don't have to know exactly what you want to do you definitely have the options to try different things on your channel whatever it is that you know you kind of love i would say push more towards that but you definitely have room to to grow so you can put mukbangs on your channel you can do beauty you can do um if you like to do nails if you like to do gaming anything that you're good at or that you really like um you can do that on your channel um it's not necessary to just stick to one thing if you don't know what you want to do you can do multiple things on your channel it's your channel you can do exactly what you want on your channel but Whatever you do, just make sure that it's good content that you would want to watch. So that way, um, other viewers and other subscribers will continue to come to your channel. Um, I'm also, I have notes under under me, <laughs> under the uh, camera, just so that I can make sure that I hit every point uh, for you guys. So if you hear that little ding, that's my battery dying on my computer. <laughs> um, but we're gonna move on to tip number four. So number four is filming. Now, when you film, you don't have to have the best quality lighting or you don't have to have a recording studio or anything like that. What you really want to do is just create good content. So creating good content start, definitely starts with uh, the quality of your videos. So like I said, you don't have to have the best in the land like there's iphones majority of everybody either has an iphone or an android both has very good quality cameras um as far as lighting you the i would suggest getting in front of a big window where there's a lot of light so then that means that you do have to record during the day if you do decide to do that if you have the time definitely sit in front of the camera and do your recording if you're doing something like this or if you're doing story times or if you're doing makeup videos or anything like that you want good lighting because you want it to look um very professional you want it to look good so that people would want to um, continue to come back to your channel you also want a nice and clean area to film in you don't want a lot of things going on in the background because that kind of takes away from your videos so i've been testing out different areas um, um of my home to see exactly where i like to film i've tried multiple places i i film my mukbangs in one area and i film my talking videos or my story times or even my makeup videos in another area where i have good light mukbangs i can't really film in that area because it's it, it's a lot that goes on with mukbangs but um, you just want to try to find an area where it's nice. Um, I do prefer you film somewhere where it's like either white walls or like um, almost like a cream wall. You can definitely do color. It just depends on your lighting. It depends on where you're at. Um, but if you don't have like a backdrop or anything like that, definitely just a solid wall or somewhere where it has a nice aesthetic to it works as well. Um, so yeah, the quality of your camera, make sure now there's a lot of different things that you can, or a lot of different settings that you can change your camera to on iPhone. I don't know about Android, but I'm pretty sure they have the same um, settings that you can change your camera to. So wa watch videos on YouTube. And I actually, I can post it because I did change the quality on mine so that it looks a little bit better. I changed the settings of my camera. Um, on my iPhone so that it can look a little bit more professional. So those videos are out there. You just have to go and do your research. Um, but if you guys want to see a video on that, definitely let me know. I can let you know what settings my camera is on if you like it. 
Um, and yeah, so quality of uh, your camera, good lighting, and a nice clean area um, is probably the most and three important things of filming, which makes a good video for YouTube. Um, so we're gonna move on to step three, which is editing. So editing, first and foremost, takes time. Now, we all like to rush. Well, at least I know I like to rush. I like to rush and do things. I like to just be able to, you know, edit a little bit and then push my video out so that I can start on the next one. But that's not the case when you want to uh, post good quality content. So I started off editing my videos on iMovie. iMovie is free. <laughs> it comes on all, I, I think it comes on all Apple um, phones and also MacBook computers as well. Um, so you can edit on iMovie. There's a lot of different features on iMovie that you can use to make your videos better. With iMovie, you have to do your research. Again, you have to do your research because it's a lot of other different apps that you may have to download on your phone to get the um, effects that you want or, you know, sounds that you want or audio, but it's there. You just have to look for it. Um, like I said, do your research. Um, that definitely should have been one of the tips in this video, but make sure that you do your research on YouTube because everything that you need to start your channel is out there. So make sure that you do that. So get on iMovie, edit your videos, don't rush. Do not rush it, take your time. Sometimes editing can take between one to four hours, maybe even five, just depending on what uh, editing tool you're using or how good you just want your video. Um, so yeah, filming or editing is definitely a thing that cannot be rushed if you wanna make good quality content. So we are going to move on to tip number two. We're moving down from five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> but we're gonna go to tip number two, which is details. So you definitely wanna make sure that on your channel, when you post a video, um, that you're one, downloading on your phone if you do most of your work on your phone. Um, there is a app that I use, which is called YouTube Studio. This helps me see um, all of my analytics and everything like that, um, as well as I can go in and edit a lot of things um, that I need to, like thumbnails or um, if I need to schedule my videos, which I do most of the time. Um, I'm doing it now on my computer, uh, but I did start off using that. I, I started off just doing it on my phone. So if you definitely start your YouTube channel up, you want to make sure that you download YouTube Studio because that's gonna help you along the way so in youtube studio which you can definitely do this on the computer as well uh, which is the creator studio on youtube um you want to make sure that you put your description box together so you want to pretty much make a description of what your video is about you don't want to put too much information definitely don't put out whatever the like this the middle of your sandwich is you know what I'm saying like the meat of your video you don't want to put that in the description you kind of want to put just details so that they can watch the video because I know some people will put majority of what their video is about in their description and then you read it and it's like well I don't need to really watch the video that, that's not what you want you want people to watch the video so you want them to watch it to the end. So make sure in your description box, you kind of just put a little detail about the, a little details about the video. And then under that, um, from there, it's whatever you want to put. So um, in my description box, I have, of course, the little description about my video. And then I have my social media um, accounts down below so that everybody can have access to it. Um, and then I also have, uh, my content or my contact info. So I have my business email in my description box as well. And depending on what I'm doing, if I'm working with like a hair company or something like that, um, you will see in my description box that I do have a link to like the hair so that uh, your subscribers or my subscribers in this case um, can get 
20, 30% off, whatever the deal is. I have that link listed in my description box as well. And I will put that in any video where I'm wearing the hair because even, even in videos that I'm not wearing the hair because you just never know. People just go in the, the description box just to see what's there. Um, so you have that link. So if you're working with the company or brand, definitely make sure you always put the link to whatever product it is that you're um, affiliated with in the description box. So that way, of course, your subscribers or viewers has access to it. Um, and also, while we're in YouTube studio, want to make sure that you have relevant tags on your video. So again, this is, can be done on the YouTube studio or in the creator studio. For me, it's easier to do it on the creator studio, like on a laptop or a computer, um, because it's just easier. But again, it can be done in the YouTube studio. So you want to make sure that you have relevant tags. When you put these tags, you want to just make sure all of your tags are relevant to what you're doing in your video. So that way, YouTube can up your impressions and make um, make your video visible to other uh, YouTube or people that are on YouTube. So um, who's ever watching, they'll make sure that they put it up depending on your tags and depending on you know how relevant that they think your video is. So you definitely want to do that. And then you also want to add end screens to your videos. I feel like end screens are important because at the end of your video, it's going to give you either, you have the option to do this. So it'll say uh, like best for viewer um, or a suggested video that YouTube feels that, um, you know, that, that the viewer might want to watch. You also have the option to put the subscribe circle up there so that if they hit it, it'll take them directly to the page where they need to hit uh, subscribe for your channel. So you have a lot of different options. You can uh, put up a playlist on there. So end screens are important because I noticed that a lot of, um, I get viewers who watch one video, the end screens pop up, and then they'll just click on that video and go to the next video. So that definitely helps, especially if somebody is on your page and they're not a subscriber, they just kind of ran across your um, your channel or ran across your video. So then um, if YouTube doesn't suggest your videos on the sidebar, then they can click on, without going to your channel, they can just click on the next video that might be best for viewer and that something that YouTube kind of generates. I know it's a lot of information. I'm trying to keep it as narrow as I can, but when it gets to YouTube, there is so much information to retain. And I can go on and on because I know it may be a little bit confusing because it it, it is confusing. You just have to, like I said, get a lot of knowledge and kind of just, you know, do your research and just make sure that you're following, you know, the the plan <laughs> or the YouTube direction, just follow it. So we're going to move on to the last tip, which is the most important tip, which is going to be tip number one, which is consistency. Consistency is always key. Very cliche, but it's the truth. In YouTube, like being on YouTube is hard. But if you stay consistent, it'll start becoming second nature to you. You'll just start to feel like everything is flowing. So what I feel like will help you, um, my computer just shut down, so now I just got to go with my memory. <laughs> but what will help you um, with staying consistent is getting a set schedule for your videos. So know what days that you're going to record and know what days that you're going to post. So with this, you'll know, okay, boom, on Tuesdays I record and on Thursdays, that's when my video goes up or whatever the days that you choose. So that way you have some type of stability. And then also you want to, um, once you record your videos and you edit them, I personally like to schedule my videos. That helps me tremendously. You have an option on, on YouTube when you're in your creator studio to um, either set it as private, public, unlisted, or you can schedule it. So, um, of course, private, no one can see it. Public, it uploads instantly. I choose to schedule it um, because I like to upload them early. So that way they can come out when they need to. Because if you kind of like um, just upload it, 
when you're ready is it's not going to have a set schedule. You don't have a set schedule. So you don't have a set schedule to tell your subscribers. Um, you, you really want to be able to say like, okay, my video is going up at three. You never know with uploading. Things can happen. So scheduling it definitely helps. So that way you have some stability on your page. Also, going back to the description box, you can put that in your description box as well. I upload videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m., whatever your times are so when you schedule them you know exactly what day these videos are going up and they're going to upload so that's definitely the key to having the or starting a youtube channel and actually being great at it and being consistent um so that is all i have for you guys today i hope this video wasn't too confusing if it was i am more than happy to give you any information that you feel like you lost or got lost in. Um, I can definitely explain it to you a little bit better. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, you can definitely comment down below. You can also reach me on my social media pages. Uh, all of that information, of course, is going to be in my description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single post. And I will see you guys in the next video.